Hello, welcome to another video, and this time it's a win. Wolves have won. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go to the match today, but I was able to listen to it on the radio on through Wolves Player, and from what I heard, it sounded very, very good. Now, what I want to talk about is the different ways that they were set up from Tuesday night to this afternoon. So written on a whiteboard here uh, this is how they were set up I think on Tuesday. so the back five is like that then you had this middle three here which <sighs> the reason why they're so close together is because I think they all were doing the similar a similar kind of job nobody was really pushing forward on Tuesday nobody was really sitting back they were all three of them were sort of together central no width at all really we're all inside like that then you have Cavalier and Costa as normal and then Dicko very very lonely I've tried to put him as far away as I could from everybody else because that's how it seemed the other night he was very different very separate from everyone else and it's very difficult for him to get the ball now today I'm just going to make a few changes to my board but going on, Hakimi back. I also who was shocking on Tuesday was dropped, and Connor Cody went into right back where he's played a few times this season and has played very well. The middle of the park, Saville was gone. I'm just going to move Sice from there. I'll get my midfielder pen. And Price gave the back four that protection that they needed the other night. It was not there. Other midfielder was actually Enabakare. Now, forgive me if I spell this wrong. Now, you can already see that that's a far more attacking formation there. You've got Edwards who pushes forward. And Bakari pushes forward at two wingers and Dicko he had a couple of chances, didn't take them, but more chances than he did on Tuesday night because of this forward thinking team. And then if you've got Jack Price who can cover all of this area here, these two didn't have anything to do by all accounts. So much, much better. I like that. I like that a lot. So, all in all, a very, very good win. Very pleased. It set us up now for a good run over Christmas. We've got games against teams around us. Bristol City now on Boxing Day. Uh, QPR coming up as well. Games that we need to be winning. And the table looks a lot better reading now. Even though still, you know, we're 18th. We're not where we should be, considering the investment. But there's players like Cavaliero, who's starting to play now how... You'd expect a £7 million player to play. He's got to do that on a consistent basis now and hopefully he will. And a couple of other notes as well. Conor Ronan came on uh, today and did a good job. Now hopefully he's another one. Like similar to I offer and uh, Halls a couple of seasons ago when they came into the team at this point in the season. We needed a bit of impetus then. A bit of something different. He's young. I think Paul Lambert was saying today we've got the third youngest squad in the league. So there's no harm bringing him in, but we've got to bring some experiences in as well, some nabs. But I really want to see Jack Price playing it more because he sounds like he was the difference today massively. And I just want Dicko to score as well. I just want him to score because he's worked so hard to come back from this injury. Now, he, he could have scored with his first touch against Norwich. And he's had a few chances since then, and I, I think once he scores one, I think that that'll start the ball rolling there. So no game now until next Monday, Boxing Day. So the boys have got a bit of a rest now before then. Hopefully another win against Bristol City. Fingers crossed. Thank you for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed. Drop a comment if you want to comment anything, ask any questions, or... Let me know what you think about the match. If you went to the match, let me know. 
am I wrong in what I've said? My uh, tactics up there. Um, and yes, subscribe because I'm really enjoying at the moment putting videos on YouTube and I'm going to carry on doing it whether you like it or not. <laughs> right, bye.